Welcome back to Go In Preach, where we are talking about how we can reach out to the community for the sake of the gospel. I hope you are all keeping safe and keeping your social distance in the midst of this coronavirus pandemic. Uh, nonetheless, uh, life must go on, so here we go. Today we're going to talk about uh, another way that we can reach out into the community. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about soup kitchens and city missions. There are many people in our lives, in our world, in our communities that will respond to the gospel through someone reaching out and meeting a physical need, whether it's through feeding programs or blankets or some kind of physical need that is being met. And through that love and compassion that is being shown them, the person's heart opens to the gospel. Many cities in the United States have local missions that minister to the poor and the homeless. And often these ministries have feeding programs through which those who are poor can come and get a hot meal at little or no cost. Most of these community missions are actually run by Christians, or it's a Christian-run organization. And there are opportunities for members of churches and entire churches to come and to volunteer in different capacities. It's a great opportunity for kitchen volunteers to cook, to serve food. And there's also an opportunity many times to actually set up an evangelistic service in combination with the serving of the food. I personally have been involved with this uh, two Christmas Eves in a row. I joined a church from Erie, Pennsylvania we went to the city mission, we served a nice hot food meal, and then we sang some Christmas carols, had some cookies, and then I had the privilege of actually standing up and sharing the gospel message, the reason for the season of Christmas. It's a great opportunity. Holidays are especially a great opportunity for churches to get involved. So I would encourage you, uh, look around you, look into your neighborhood, see if there is an opportunity to reach out to the poor. You know, especially now in the time of a pandemic, maybe it's not uh, quite the same as it could be when people are free to gather together, but there are opportunities to reach out to the poor, even in our current situation. And you can use that as an opportunity to open someone's heart to share the gospel with them. So please uh, continue to come back and listen right here on Go and Preach. Well, we'll be back next time. We're going to dive into the subject of backyard Bible studies, and we're going to get to vacation Bible schools, and all kinds of creative ways that we can reach out into our community. Now, you may have seen that in my program, I often have a book that is sitting on the table. Uh, this book right here. Go and Preach. It is uh, written by me. And many of these things that we are talking about here on this show are actually covered and talked about in this book. If anybody has an interest in getting a copy of this, uh, please private message us. Uh, we can send you to the right place or you can get one directly from me. But they can also be found online at Zion Christian Publishers. Uh, you can look that up, zcp.org, uh, I believe. <laughs> I should probably check that out before I announce it online. But anyway, if you're interested in it, check it out. Uh, be inspired, be encouraged to step out and share your faith. I have a young friend that I've been able to talk to him about evangelism and take him on a couple evangelistic outreaches and trips over the past couple of years, and he was really encouraging me today. This week alone, or just yesterday, he was actually able to witness to three people. So it does work. Be inspired, be encouraged, and get out there and preach the gospel and share the word with those in your life. But for the next few weeks, don't touch anybody. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. We'll see you next time.